welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to talk about solar ignition, so stick around. There are several different fire starting methods to choose from, and I personally believe that you should carry at least three different methods with you at all times. Simple and reliable methods include Bic lighters, a ferrocium rod or metal match, and a magnifying lens or sun lens. Today I want to talk about solar ignition. Now unlike the Bic lighters that will eventually run out of fuel, or the ferrocium rod that will become so thin after scraping it over a period of time and ultimately break, the magnifying lens or sun lens uses the sun for ignition. And the sun is a renewable resource, which means that unless the world ends, it's going to be there every single day. The sun rays pass through a convex lens and are concentrated into a small area which ends up producing heat and ultimately combustion. Then from this point right here, all you gotta do is transfer this to a tinder bundle or bird's nest, and you'll be good to go. That was simple and straightforward. Now just make sure that you're in plain view of the sun and you should be good to go. I prefer a magnifying lens of five times the magnification or greater, and what I do is I'll place it inside of some type of felt bag or sack, and then I'll store it away from the rest of my gear to keep it from getting scratched. Now before we get out of here, what I want to do is I want to show you a few improvised methods of solar ignition without a magnifying lens. Enjoy. Before we get started, you want to go ahead and make some char cloth. So to do that, grab 100% cotton and cut it into small squares just like that. Place it inside of a metal tin, pop a hole in the lid as well as the container, and place it over your fire, or in this case your stove. Your char cloth or char material will start heating up and what's going to happen is all the gases are going to escape through that hole, not allowing any oxygen to enter that container. The material will become brittle and charred. As the gas escapes, sometimes the flame is produced. Once the flame dies down and the gas stops escaping, you can go ahead and remove it from the fire and let it cool down. It's important that you do not open it until it's completely cool. Any oxygen entering that container will destroy the char cloth. An alternative to using the container is grabbing some ordinary Reynolds wrap. Just cut a small sheet, Place your cotton material on the one side, fold it over, and place it on your coals, or in this case, on your stove. And just like before, the gas is going to escape. Once the gas dies down and the flame goes away, remove it from the fire and let it cool down. Do not open it until it's completely cool.
Once your containers are cool to the touch, you can go ahead and open it, inspect your char cloth, make sure it's completely black, and if you want, you can go ahead and test your cloth. And the beauty of char cloth is that it will take the smallest and weakest spark, meaning between 600 and 800 degrees, and it will hold a very hot ember, which will allow you to transfer it into a tinder bundle or bird's nest. This is called a parabolic lens, and it came off of a flashlight with an incandescent light bulb. Your vehicle headlights have something similar. And you see that ring of light in there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aim it towards the sun, place my tinder or char material if I have it, or my char cloth in there. I'm gonna aim it towards the sun and concentrate that light to the center. And it's that quick. For this next method, grab a clear light bulb. Go ahead and take the filament out. And you want to fill it full of water. And using your duct tape or Gorilla Tape, go ahead and try and seal that thing up as best you can. With your light bulb full of water, you can now use this as a magnifying glass. Got my char cloth or char material. You see our beam of light? I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate that as small as I can get it. And there we go, it was that quick. For this next method, you want to grab a clear pot lid. Go ahead and remove your handle, and then grab some clear tape, or a packing tape. Either one will work, as long as it's clear. Go ahead and cover that hole up right there. And just like our light bulb, you're going to fill it full of water. Not too full. You don't want to spill it over on your char cloth. But just enough. You can see that ring down there. I want to go ahead and raise it higher and higher and higher. Until we get a small beam of light. There we go, we got it. And the last method I wanna show you today, we wanna to go ahead and improvise a parabolic lens from an aluminum can. And to do that, what you wanna do is just grab a can and polish the bottom. You can use car polish, toothpaste, and some people even say you can use a chocolate bar. Just make it highly reflective. And operating with the same idea as a parabolic lens, I wanna aim it towards the sun, grab my char cloth or char material, I'm gonna put it directly above. I'm gonna try and concentrate that light to the smallest point. And there we go, that quick. As usual, that was outstanding. 
Now remember, you should carry at least three different methods of fire starting inside your kit at all times, and some sort of solar ignition needs to be one of those methods. Why? Because it uses a renewable resource that's always going to be there. Thank you for your comments, views, support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field and have some fun, and I'll catch you next time.